In this video, we're going to look at change of sign. And change of sign is a very useful technique to find where a solution to an equation might lie, particularly if the equation is a very difficult one to solve. So here we've got an example. Now, this example is actually an equation which is very simple to solve. Uh, we can probably solve it in our heads straight away and get the answer of 3.5. Uh, but what I've done is I've said the first example is show that the equation 2x minus 7 equals 0 has a solution between x equals 3 and x equals 4. And what I've done also is I've drawn the graph y equals 2x minus 7. Now, the reason I've drawn that is if the equation equals 0, if you draw the graph y equals and what the equation is on the other side, not the zero part, but the other part, you're going to get uh, y equals 2x minus 7. Now, if we draw that graph, you'll find that that graph crosses the x-axis at 3.5, which was the solution to the equation. And the reason it's the solution is, well, if we've got the equation equals 0, well, we've got y then equals 0, and y equals 0 is the x-axis. So where the graph crosses the x-axis will be a solution to the equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that this equation has a solution between 3 and 4. So if we look at the graph, 2x minus 7, this red line, as you can see, it crosses the x-axis of 3.5, which is the solution. Now, if we go to the left on the line, on the, the graph of 2x minus 7, we will see they have got negative heights on the left-hand side of the solution. And on the right-hand side of the solution, all the points on the graph have got positive heights. In other words, if we substitute in 3 into this 2x minus 7, we should get a negative value. If we substitute in 4, we should get a positive value. And therefore, it should be equal to 0 in between those two. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let x equals 3, and we're going to substitute that into 2x minus 7. So we've got 2x minus 7. Substituting 3 in gives us 2 times 3 minus 7, which is equal to minus 1. And as you can see, whenever x is equal to 3, the height of the graph is minus 1. Uh, if we let x equals 4, we will get 2 times 4 minus 7, which is equal to 1. And whenever x is equal to 4, the height of the graph is 1. And that means that since there's a change of sign, uh, well, you know, between minus 1 and 1, there's a change of sign there, then there's going to be a solution in the middle somewhere. So that means that um, there's, there's going to be a solution to the equation between x equals 3 and x equals 4. So since there is a change in sign or off sign, um, the equation has a solution between x equals 3 and x equals 4. Now, um, in an exam, if you've been asked to show that an equation has got a solution between uh, two values, like x equals 3 and x equals 4, you have to show that you're putting those values into the um, the side of the equation which isn't equal to zero, and you have to show there's a change of sign. Now they're not going to try and trip you up in an exam and give you a case with the where it might sort of the change of sign might not work. But there are situations where change of sign um, doesn't work, and I'm going to show you at the end of this video those situations. Okay, uh, but through the rest of the examples I'm about to go through, I'm going to treat them like typical exam questions and show you how the change of sign works. And then at the end of the video I'll show you some situations where you would need to be careful. Okay, so our next example. So example two, choose the equation x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 6 equals 0 has a solution between x equals 2 and x equals 3. Um, and again, that's this. Well, this equation now is a lot more difficult than the previous one. And it would be one where, one where change of sign is quite useful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I've drawn the graph again just to sort of to show that there is a solution between 2 and 3. It crosses the x-axis between 2 and 3. And so that means that whenever we put in 2, we should get a negative value. When we substitute in 3, we should get a positive value. And there'll be a change of sign. In other words, our solution is somewhere in the middle between them. But looking at the graph, it looks as if it's going to be closer to 2 than 3. Um, but anyway, we've not been asked that. Let's just find out. Uh, let's show this change of sign. So. When x equals 2, we've got to substitute 2 into the equation. Now, the equation, first of all, we need to make sure it equals 0. And it does equal 0. So we can just substitute 2 into the left-hand side of the equation here and see what we get. So we've got x cubed plus x squared minus 4 times x minus 6. So substituting in 2 will give us 2 cubed plus 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 6. So it's going to be 8 plus 4 minus 8 minus 6 and when we work that out we're going to get 12 
take away eight, which is four, take away six, which is negative two. So that's negative as we expected. Now, whenever X is equal to three, we're gonna substitute that in. So we're gonna do three cubed plus three squared minus four times three minus six. Well, three cubed is equal to 27 plus three squared is equal to nine minus four times three is 12 minus six. Uh, 27 plus 9 is 36 minus 12 minus 6. 36 minus 12 is 24. Take away 6 will be equal to 18. And as you can see, there's a change of sign there. So since, and it's very important you write this, since there is a change of sign or in sign, the equation as a solution between x equals 2 and x equals 3. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, so this example has a few subtle differences in this one than the previous two. Uh, the first thing is that the equation x squared equals 4x plus 4, um, we've, we've been asked to show that it's got a solution between 4.5 and 5, or x equals 4.5 and x equals 5. So first of all, the equation doesn't actually equal 0 uh, like we need it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. So it will give us 0 equals 4x plus 4 minus x squared, and that equals 0. Um, next, um, actually, the we've been asked to show it's got a solution between 4.5 and 5. And I've chosen these values to show that it doesn't always have to be an integer or a whole number. It can be decimals. Okay, um, so if this was a typical exam question, now what I would do is I would substitute 4.5 into 4x plus 4 minus x squared. I would substitute 5 in and show there's a change of sign. And therefore, if there's a change of sign, then there's going to be a solution between 4.5 and 5. Um, what I've actually done here is I've actually drawn the graph as well and uh, just to show that this equation 4x plus 4 minus x squared when we draw y equals 4x plus 4 minus x squared um, there's actually two different solutions there's going to be one between minus 1 and 0 and one between 4 and 5 now in the question they will um, ask you or they will say you know between which two values they want you to find the solution so in this uh, question we've been asked to show that it's in between 4.5 and 5 and by looking at the graph we should find that 4.5 when we substitute in will give us a positive value and we substitute in 5 we should get a negative value and then there's going to be a change of sign so x equals 4.5 let's substitute that into our um, ex um, into the expression uh, 4x plus 4 minus x squared so uh, 4 times 4.5 plus 4 minus 4.5 squared. And when we work that out, that gives us 4 times 4.5 plus 4 minus 4.5 squared gives us an answer of um, equals 1.75. When x equals 5, when we substitute that in, that's going to be 4 times 5 plus 4 minus 5 squared. And when we work that out, 4 times 5 plus 4 minus 5 squared, that gives us an answer of minus 1. And as you can see, there's a change of sign. So since there is a change of sign, the, equa the equation has a solution between x equals 4.5 and x equals 5. Okay, and our last example, example four. Um, this time we're going to just do it as a typical exam question. We're not going to use a graph. Um, we're just going to solve it as normal. So, or use the change of real sign as normal. So, uh, this question, example four says, show that the equation x cubed plus x squared equals 3x squared minus 5 has a solution between x equals minus 1.2 and x equals minus 1.3. So again, the equation this time doesn't equal zero. So let's make it equal zero. So x squared or x cubed plus x squared minus 3x squared plus 5 equals zero. So it's going to be x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5 equals zero.
And what we're going to do is we're going to um, substitute in minus 1.2 into um, x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5 and also with the minus 1.3. So when x equals minus 1.2, that will give us minus 1.2 cubed minus 2 bracket, <laughs> funny too, uh, minus 1.2 squared plus five and when we work that out uh, let's do that so um, minus 1.2 close brackets cubed minus 2 times brackets minus 1.2 close brackets squared plus five when we work that out we get an answer of um, 0 0.392 and when x equals minus 1.3, we're going to get minus 1.3 cubed minus 2 times minus 1.3 squared plus 5. And that's going to equal, uh, that will equal minus 0.577. And therefore, since there is a change of sign x cubed plus x squared equals 3x squared minus 5 has a solution between x equals minus 1.2 and x equals minus 1.3. And that's it. Okay, now I said earlier on the video that I would show you some situations where the change of sign uh, will encounter difficulties. So, first of all, a change of sign doesn't always mean there's a solution. Okay, um, if we looked at the graph earlier, our first example, uh, we knew there's a solution between 3 and 4 because one side was negative and one side was positive. Now, if one side, uh, if, when I say one side, to the left is negative and to the right is positive. Now, so if the graph is not continuous, there might not necessarily be a solution. So, for instance, um, if we were to look at a value such as minus you know, 0 0.1, um, you're going to get a, ne a negative value for this, for whenever you substitute it into 1 over x. When you try a value just to the right of 0, you're going to get a very large positive value. And you'll see there's a change of sign, but the, the graph doesn't actually join up. Okay, So if the graph is not continuous, um, you've got to be careful whenever you're using the change of sign. Um, next, um, there may be solutions, but there might not be a change of sign. So for instance, uh, if you had the equation x plus 1 all squared um, equals zero. Uh, the graph actually touches the x-axis at minus one and then goes back up again. So if you were to choose minus 1.1 and 0 0.9, they will both be positive, but there's actually a solution in there. Okay, so that's something to be careful with. And also another thing to be careful with is, um, if for instance there's two solutions and the two solutions are quite close together, if you choose two values of x that are too far apart, you might actually get both solutions in there. So for instance, uh, the graph y equals 5x minus 1, uh, bracket 5x minus 4, um, that has solutions at 0 0.2 and 0 0.8. So if we were to put in x equals 0 and x equals 1, we will get positive values for both of those because the graph actually goes below the x-axis and back up above it there's actually two different solutions so there's some things to be careful with a change of sign